Hello, Algebra. I'm so sorry that the video cut off, so I'm filming this. Niall and Denise were in the middle of presenting this problem when it cut off. I'll just start back here with the equation for this first one. It says, suppose you have $20 in your bank account. You start saving $5 each week. Write an equation for how much money is in your account, assuming you don't take money out. So I think at this point they had said, well, 20 is the starting amount. So that would be our y-intercept. And then you're saving $5 each week. That would represent our slope. It's increasing by $5 every one week. So they had this equation here. They were in the process of defining their variables. Y right there would represent the total money in the account. And then X, it might be tempting to say X is how much money you save each week, but that's something we know. We know it's $5 each week. What we don't know is how many weeks they've been saving. So X would represent the number of weeks. Over here for the second part, the second part is similar. We've got your friend only has $5 in his account, but he, started, he starts saving $10 each week. Write an equation for how much money he has in his account, assuming he doesn't withdraw any money. So similar to the first part, our y-intercept, that starting amount is $10. He's starting with $10 in his account, and he is adding five, oops. <laughs> He's starting, I'm sorry, with $5 in his account, and he is saving $10 each week. $10 each week. Once again, x and y are going to represent your total amount of money, and then uh, the x would be the number of weeks your friend has been saving. The next part of the question asks us to graph both of the equations over here. And we want to make sure we're labeling our x and y axis, labeling which line is our savings account and then which line is the friend's savings account. Uh, over here, I would start by graphing my first equation. I'm going to start at the number 20. And then our slope is 5, which means I want to go up 5 over 1. Notice our y-axis is counting up by 5. So if I want to go up $5, I just need to go up one box and then over one. Um, as Niall was graphing this, he was saying I'm starting with $20, and then if I'm saving $5 each week, by week one, I'm saving $25. By week two, I'm saving $30. Week three, $35. And you can think of it that way too. When we go to graph our line, our line would look something like this. Similar to that first problem with temperature, I don't want my line to come back here. X is representing the number of weeks, and so we can't have negative one weeks. This line here that I just graphed is my savings account. Uh, remember it said make sure you're labeling everything, so I'm gonna label this line here as me. Uh, the second part says our friend, this is their savings account, we're starting at $5, and then they we're saving $10 each week, so I want to go up $10 each week. Go up $10 each week. $10 each week. And we get this line here. I could label this line here as my friend. If I come back to the question, it says graph both equations. We did that. It says make sure you label your x and your y axis. I have not done that yet, but it's real easy if up here you've already defined your variables. x is the number of weeks, so I'll just write number of weeks. And then y is our total amount of money, so I could just label it as total money. I'm going to write um, money in savings account count Ooh. and label which line is our savings account and our friend's savings account which we already did the last part of this question asks after how many weeks will you and your friend have the same amount of money in your account how much money will each of you have as we are graphing we've got this point right here uh, if you're reading each of those points as after one week, $15, two weeks, $25. If you were reading them with words as you were plotting those points, you would have heard both times where you marked this point down, you said three weeks, $35. That point right there 
represents the uh, which week you both have the same amount of money. At week three, you both had $35. Before that, you had different amounts. After that, you've got different amounts. That's the week where the amounts are the same. So to answer the question, after how many weeks? We could say after three weeks. To answer the question, how much money will each of you have? We could say we both have $35. Uh, again, I'm sorry that the video is uh, cut off, but I wanted to make sure you guys got an opportunity to see the rest of this question too. Good luck with your homework. Reach out to me if you have any questions. Thanks. Bye.